Hey everybody, today I wanted to share with you my new December Traveler's Notebook. This is a B6 size and I transferred over my inserts from my um, October or fall and this is a chunky or wide version of my TNs that I've been doing. So um, I pretty much redid the pretty much everything as far as like covers for my inserts these are all the old covers dashboard and I made some new page markers and whatnot so the only thing I didn't do was print out I wanted to print out some vellum with some Christmas images but I haven't done that yet and I didn't put my initial this time on this planner um, I didn't feel like I needed it for this one so although it might show up inside later on so here it is, and oh, I forgot the paper. I am using, for the most part, I am using this um, paper, Mary Everything from Craftsmith. It's a Michaels Hot Buy. And yeah, I even use some of the cutouts in here. And then I use one sheet from this one that I found that Tuesday morning. So I, I just had to use this onesie um, pajama type of paper here so um, and I did record myself putting this together so hopefully I'll have a tutorial on that because I haven't done one where it's a wide version there is six elastics in here um, I did have an issue where I had made like some of the holes a little too close but as you can see there is a sticker on here I wanted to put something on my spine um, if you've ever watched any of those um, travel notebook videos where they're showing their the setup I love watching those and they usually have the store-bought or um, like from Etsy or something planner um, I should say covers that are made of leather and stuff like that which are really gorgeous but they're very pricey and I do like laminated ones better because you can just change them out every time and use whatever pattern paper you like and it still works the same way so on those planners they do I don't know if it's called etching or foiling or what but they'll do like either images or initials here or on the spine and what I wanted to do with mine I wanted to try this out this is a sticker from Michael's let's see these here from recollections and I use one of the cats on the spine and I did use one of these kooky looking dogs inside as well so I love the way that came out and it does show and I do stand mine up on my desk I don't leave it flat so that's why I put dangles on the side here instead of over here and for the dangles hold on one second I added to a store bought now Walmart now carries some fun planner accessories too so I have some like this and then I had this color one and it comes with a two lobster clasps and this one's actually attached to this and I just added to the chain some of the Christmas charms um, I'll put the link down below but some from the Tasha Scrapper corner and then some that I had in my stash so the only thing with these is, as you can see, it's, you know, pretty cheap, so it comes apart, and I'm going to glue that later on, um, but, oops, there's that, and then this is the one that was attached to this ring, and I just separated it, and it came with this star, and then I added this one here, which I think I bought at Walmart a while back. And this is the one from Natasha Scrapbook Corner, and then so is this one here. So I just wanted something fun. And then you can see the paper that I picked. Um, and then I used the Joann's elastic I found in the white iridescent. And this is just a cutout from the collection, which I thought was fun. I just put it in there to show, but it's not going to stay there. And then I put a bow clip that I showed this in a, one of my... Christmas uh, series videos so let's go into this again it is chunky and I did record myself through so hopefully I'll get a um, tutorial up for you soon so when you open it up 
you see the paper that I picked inside. This came out of that that other pad, I believe. I'm hoping that's where it came from. I can't remember. Might not have. Or maybe it came from this one. I can't I can't even remember, but I did use my own um, the pockets that I found online through Walmart, I think, or either Walmart or um, Amazon, but it's actually from Office Depot. And these pockets here, they're longer and short, they're longer this way and shorter this way than the ones from Target. And it has like a little notch here. This is the brand, Smeeve. And I'll just show you this side real quick. Okay, so I did use that throughout this planner because I wanted it to be wider this time. And here's one of the cutouts. And when I was looking at this cutout, and I was wondering where these images were because there's like dogs and cats in the background that just barely peek in like an elf. So I wish they had that paper in there, but there's not. Um, this I had made, I showed it in a previous video. And I put this little puffy sticker that is also Recollections. Let me see if I could find it. I thought I left it out. No, it's in here somewhere, the whole pack. And then here, for my shaker, I used, um, this is from NSK, so I used her mix. Again, the link will be down below to her shop. And then I just added in some colors to go. And this background image is a Target card. And then here we have the paper, a cutout, and then there's that one sticker. And I thought that was so cute to go with that naughty or nice. And that dog just <laughs> adorable. All right, so one of the things that I did is I took the Dollar Tree window cling. Okay, so the images off of here, which are transparent and they're meant to go on glass. Usually, I just can't pick it out right now, but... I picked a few of those from Dollar Tree and I laminated them. So this is one side and it's he's holding a cup, that's why I used it. And then the other side, where is the other side? Oh, here it is. It's right here. So actually that's the back of him, but since he is transparent, you can't tell. But then when you turn it over, you can see the front has glitter. So that's the other side. And then here's my first insert. This is the one that I've been using. You saw this in one of my um, layout videos. And this is the paper that I used to cover. It's not stapled in, so I just remove my inserts and not the covers when I move into another planner. And then this, these paper clips, these shaped clips, come from Michaels. And <clears throat> it's just holding, you know, to the page. And then here's my first page marker. And what I did was I took a tag from Walmart. Walmart has Christmas tags. And luckily this one, the where the hole is, where the string usually is, was the little piece was still in there, so I left it. And I just laminated it, and that's my tab. And then the back looks like this, and this is where I just add some notes for myself. And this is a Dollar Tree sticker that I put down there. So in the pocket, I just put some cutouts for now. And he is my... He's just peeking up here. All right, so then we go into, this is the other side of the shaker. It's a removable pocket or dashboard. So what I did here is these two images here, those are actually really big in the paper pad. They're huge. They're just made to probably just frame and put up or do a little bit of a layout, but it's too big to use in here. So I scanned as much as I could trying to save this part of the image and then printed it out smaller like a 5x7 to fit in here and then I did the same with this but this one here is actually supposed to be gold foiled on the writing and it the scanner doesn't pick up the foiling so it gives you black so this was just an insert from my planner before so here's that other one the other cover and this is my week on um, Two pages and today's only Saturday so I'm still on that but here is um, the new week and this is my last card that I had found through Pinterest it's a free printable and this is how I made this um, page marker 
and I used this Martha Stewart punch and I cut it in half and then made a tab and just you know tacked them together and then ran it through my laminator so and that's the paper from the collection and in the back I just put a couple of sticky notes just to have them a little bit closer but I do have more in here and then for one of the paper clips is these little owl that I showed in one of my videos and then okay here's the next insert and another paper clip here it's holding the cover together because this has um, the original cover and I didn't make any pen holders this time because I already had them but what I did do is I put in this one that was gifted to me I can't remember who I just thought the color went and it has a little kitty on there so and then okay so I've showed this before I did switch out what I had in here before just for these cutouts and then let me go here I just love this paper um, this actually has repositionable tape on there or glue because it's from the old planner and um, when I did them you know I didn't think to use a more neutral piece so I just reused them for now but eventually I'm going to do something where I can reuse or I don't know make something a little more permanent for the actual inserts that I have in here already because like this is attached to my journal anyway um, here's two more paper clips that I made these are all buttons including I think the owl no the owl was a sticker but these were buttons so I just turned them into um, paper clips so then we go to the back and then here this is really fun so remember the clings the window clings this is my first laminated dashboard but instead of laminating the image in I just used it like what it is a window cling and it sticks to my plastic so I can actually change it out or move it around if I want to um, so it doesn't have to be permanent it won't stick to anything else but something like this and here's a couple of the sticky notes from Michaels and here's that the stickers now these are all Michael stickers so I decided to use this pocket for the stickers that I am using so there's the cups and then here we have these and then these so they're planner stickers from Michaels here's the pack from the Dollar Tree that I used for that pander sticker and what else did I use I think for now that is it all right so this time I made a different type of folder and I did it similar to the uh, tutorial where I showed you how to make a couple of extra pockets in your folder but it was a side loading folder and then this part well because um, I'm using a 12 by 12 I did it a little bit different with this and made my pockets up here and then extra pockets up here so it works pretty good except that I have so much in there that it doesn't want to close all the way but that's fine um, I'm going to see how much I like it after I use it some more and then I could do a tutorial. You know, I just got to be 100% sure that I, can, I like it because if it bothers me, I'm not going to do a tutorial on it. So here's the other pocket with some more planner stickers. And in here, I just have a lot more planner stickers. So, okay. And then some more recollection stickers. Now, the reason why I decided to put the folder in this dashboard is because when I made this dashboard, I accidentally didn't leave enough space in the middle for a booklet. So that's another thing. It doesn't want to close, you know, all the way because over here there's not enough room. All right, so then on this side, we have our last booklet. And here I laminated a doily, and I showed you this. Uh, in the A6 planners that I'll be selling soon. So I did the same thing for myself because I really like that look and it's all, that's all it is. Um, then again, I do want to print on some vellum and throw that in here as well. So this is the last booklet. Here's one of those paper clips that I made with some candy ornaments. Another paper clip there. Another pen. So this one's a red gel pen. And then lastly, the um, this paper clip I did show you too. That's also stickers, I think, recollections. And another paper clip. 
Here's the other side of the doily. And then my last pocket with a couple of cutouts. And then this. This is from that and this I found at Target. So this is really heavy because I do have a lot in here. And I do use it. Um, so love the way it came out. And that's it. So, um, I will have the A6 Christmas planners going up for sale coming on Monday. So, be on the lookout for that. And, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.